Hi everyone, Tao here. One UI 2.1 introduced several new features, but lost in the mix were some subtle improvements to Samsung's desktop mode, DeX. So in the past, the only way to snap windows was to use keyboard shortcuts. It works, but not a lot of people even knew you could do this, and it didn't feel intuitive. The update now allows you to do the exact same thing, but with a mouse, which is much better and works like it would on a PC. Grabbing an app and dragging it to either edge will resize and snap it to that half of the display. Dragging it to the top of the display will full screen the app. It's a great improvement and way more user friendly. It also means you can snap windows if you don't use a keyboard or mouse and rely only on using the phone as a touchpad. Speaking of that touchpad, digging deeper into the deck settings, you also notice a new menu for touchpad gestures. So with the touchpad, you have a regular tap, a two finger tap, which mimics right clicking on a mouse, and now you have the option to map a three finger and four finger tap. Right now, there's a total of six different options, so let's go through each. Show the app screen will, of course, open up your app drawer. Home, Recents, and Back are the three Android navigation buttons. Back is actually what I have my three finger tap map to. It comes in real handy when browsing the web or just navigating in general. View notifications is what I have my four finger tap map to. Great quick way to check on your notifications no matter what you're doing. View quick menu is the last option and will open up your quick menu toggles for things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile data. I'd love to see more options added, but this is a good start and makes the touchpad a little more capable. The last improvement has to do with Bixby routines. Another one of those Samsung features that doesn't get a lot of love, but is actually really awesome. I'll link a video I did on my favorite Bixby routines down below in case you guys are interested. So what the update did was add Samsung DeX as a trigger. For example, I have it so Bluetooth will automatically turn on so my keyboard and mouse can connect to the phone the moment DeX starts. I also have it set so the phone automatically rotates to landscape mode so the trackpad is in the right orientation for how I like to use it. You can also have it so your most used apps will automatically open and be ready for you once you plug into a display. Outside of those three improvements, they've also squashed an annoying glitch on the app screen. In the past, if you hit the apps button and try to start searching for something, the first letter you typed would be ignored. They fixed that on One UI 2.1, making the search experience work how it actually should. No, these improvements aren't groundbreaking, and no, it likely won't persuade you to suddenly give up on your computer or laptop, myself included. It's a small step, but I'm actually glad to see Samsung showing Dex some attention. I really like the concept, and it's one of those features that makes paying $1,000 plus for a smartphone seem a little less crazy. If you're curious about my setup, let me just show you what I got going on here. It's actually pretty simple. So this is a 15.6 inch portable touchscreen monitor, which I've placed on a metal stand. What I really like about the stand is that it actually folds flat. Really great for portability and storage. There are two cables total, both of which came with the monitor. One is connected to an outlet for power and the other connects the monitor to the phone. For the best experience, I also paired up my Bluetooth keyboard plus mouse. So now whenever I feel like messing around in DeX, I can just plug in. I think for most, a laptop or tablet makes way more sense, but I'm really curious how many of you actually use DeX on a regular basis. Drop a comment below on how you're using it. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.